Good day and welcome. My name is Jacob. Today's class is a short intro or beginner level class. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscription button. That will notify you of all future releases. For those who wish to contribute financially, there is a PayPal link in the description below. By no means is this required, but for those who have and are able to, uh, thank you so much for that contribution. Let's start today in a seated position, sitting up as tall as you can. Get your low back off the back of the chair and then close your eyes. Taking a scan of the body from the toes to the top of the head. Settling in the body, stilling the mind. Becoming aware of the breath and increasing the breath. Long inhales and exhales through the nose. With each inhale, see if you can deepen the inhale, expanding your rib cage. Enjoying the breath. With your next inhale, opening the eyes and starting with some gentle movement of the head, turning the head side to side. Now remember, if something feels like too much in the body, for whatever reason, make it smaller, make it slower, make it to a place that is accessible for you. I'm noticing some stiffness in my neck this morning and it feels good. Let's bring the head to face forward. Keep looking at the screen and tilt the ears side to side. Feeling the stretch in the side of the neck here, offering the ear towards your shoulder. And as we're doing this, we're still breathing deeply, long inhales and long exhales. Nice, and we'll come back to stillness and now we're stretching the chin out and then pulling it back. Try not to lift or drop the chin, so you're stretching it out until you feel the stretch to the back of the ears here and then pulling it back, so double chins. And let's keep moving the head back and forth. Maybe you have a barking dog near me, near you like I do. And sending some love to all the creatures around us. Nice. Coming back to stillness, inhale, arms float up. And then exhale, bringing the hands down. Some of us might not be able to raise the arms that high, so it might be only as high as you can go. Maybe it's here. And exhale down. If you can join me and reach the hands all the way up, then join me. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale. We'll do two more like this. Big inhale, arms come up. See if you can inhale maybe to a three count, a four count. And exhale, arms coming down. Last one, big inhale. Keep inhaling, inhale some more. Inhale, inhale. And exhale. You're gonna to need to shift forward if you're not already. Inhale, extend your arms out to the side. And exhale, we're turning to one side. Inhale, coming back to center. And then exhale, turning to the next side. If this feels like it's too much on the shoulders, a nice alternate is hands on shoulders. Otherwise, keeping those arms extended. So we're exhaling and twisting. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale and twisting. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. This next one we're going to hold, so inhale, exhale, twist. You can drop the hands to the back of the chair and the knee. And then see if you can bring the twist to the neck so you're really looking behind you. I'm looking at the beautiful hills, seeing some of those grasses starting to come back into the hills after we got some rainfall. And inhale back to center. And exhale, twisting to the next side, holding onto the knee or the back of the chair. And again, Deep in your twist as much as you can. Look behind you. Maybe you're seeing some birds playing in the air. And inhale back to center. Exhale, drop the hands down. Let's lift one arm. The other arm can hold to the side of the chair. And then reaching over to the side. 
nice stretch to the side of the body. Again, a nice long breath to keep the breath stretching the body, moving in and out through the body. Two more breaths here. And inhale, come back to center. Exhale, changing sides. Reach that arm up and over. I'm using my breath to stretch the side of this body. Keep your belly pulling in slightly. Three more big breaths here. And inhale, coming back up. With your exhale, let's draw a knee up towards your belly. And inhale, drop it down. Exhale, draw that knee up. And inhale down. Let's keep moving with the breath. So as you're exhaling, you're drawing the knee up. We'll do two more each side. Hopefully you're finding a little joy in your practice. Joy to be alive. Joy to be in this body. And we'll draw the knee up. Keeping the knee up. Let's do some circles with the ankles. And you may notice as I'm noticing some clicks and pops. Some musicality to the joint. And we can change directions. Let's point and flex the foot now. So pointing and flexing. Nice. How about three more of these on this side? Good. And exhale, lowering the foot down. Exhale, draw the next knee in. And we're starting with some circles in the ankle. I notice the side's not as clicky and poppy. Keep it moving. And we can change directions. And now we're going to flex and point the foot. I find it a point of interest to notice how different maybe one side is than the other. Very few of us are completely symmetrical. So just honoring these differences, seeing the differences. Very good. And lower the foot down. Let's continue with the feet. So inhale, raising the heels and exhale, lower it down. Inhale, raise the heels and lower it down. Three more of these, moving with the breath. Nice. For this next one, you're going to have to slide right to the edge of your chair. Make sure you don't fall off and turn to one side. And from here, we're going to step one foot back as much as you can. It might be just the knee below the hip. Some of us might be able to reach that foot all the way back coming into a lunge. Hands can stay on their knee for balance and turn the hips forward. Now a few options here. Hands could stay down or maybe one arm comes up. If you feel like you're going to fall off your chair, hold on to the chair. Or maybe extending both arms up to the sky. And we want to keep that low belly pulling in so we're not collapsing into our low back. In a lunge, it feels counterintuitive, but we're looking to tuck the pelvis forward so that we're not dumping into the low back. And let's do four more breaths here. Notice your surroundings. Notice your breath. Notice your body. Notice the quality of your mind. We've got two more breaths here. If the arm's up, we'll bring the arms back down and then step the feet together and we're going to pivot over to the next side. Half of your bum is hanging off the chair and then step that outer foot back in space. Coming into a lunge, again, maybe your lunge looks like this or maybe you can even go further back than me. We're squaring the hips forward, hands to your knee. Hands could stay here, especially if you need the stability, or if it's all right, extending one arm up to the sky. And if this feels safe, 
You could extend both arms if you feel like you're going to fall off. Then hold on to the chair. Pull the low belly in, engaging the belly, tucking the pelvis forward to reduce the sway of the low back. And we've got four more big breaths here. I invite you to become aware of the body, aware of your surroundings. And there might be something that's really calling your attention, but see if you can notice some of the subtle things as well, as well. Maybe the shape of some of the leaves or how the wind is moving some of the leaves or maybe a color in the room that you haven't seen yet today. And exhale lower down. That is a variation of crescent lunge or warrior one. So now we're going to look at warrior two. So we're bringing the feet back together and then pivoting back to the first side. And we're going to step the outer leg back as much as we can. This time pivoting the foot so my heel is connecting. If you can do that, then you may need to turn a little bit to the side in order to, to make that happen for the body. I'm able to stay straight forward, so I'll extend the leg straight and straightening this leg as much as I can, drawing the thigh back and then extending the back arm and it could stay just one arm or maybe you're feeling balance and can extend both arms. If you have a sand fly on your face, you can move it. And connecting with the sense of the breath in the rib cage. And we'll do three more breaths here. Very nice. And we'll drop the hands down, stepping the feet together. And we'll pivot over to the next side. Again, half of my bum is off the chair, stepping the outer leg back and straightening that leg as much as I can, dropping the heel down. You may need to pivot a little bit to, to be able to straighten this leg. Some people I find are a little bit more closed in the hips. And then we're extending the back arm. That's their first variation or extending both arms if balance feels all right. And then again, become aware of the breath, increasing your breath if it got small. I find it's so easy to forget about the breath. The mind takes over and starts to run after thoughts. Like right now, my mind is just like, oh, that was a gecko that just said hello, a lizard. Two more big breaths here. And exhale, lower it down. We're bringing the feet back together, pivoting to the front. And now we're opening the legs as wide as we can. And from here, we'll lean to one side. One hand could be on your hip or hand to the back of the head, or if it's okay on the shoulder, extend that arm and reach like you're trying to get something off a shelf. Reach, reach, reach. Use the breath to stretch the body, to connect with the body. And inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, pivoting to the next side, bring the forearm to the thigh, and then reaching with the other arm, extending. I offered those three variations on the other, other side, so you're welcome to do that here, either hand on hip, hand on shoulder, hand to the back of the head, or extending the arm long as I'm doing. And connecting with the breath, two more breaths here. And inhale, coming back up. Let's bring our feet together. Extend one leg straight and you might need to come right to the edge of the chair so that the chair isn't digging into the back of the leg. Flex the toes back towards your face. And then exhale, slide the hands down the leg. If you can get below the knee, then great. If not, then keep the hand above the knees, stacking the hands, really hinging into the hips here. Looking for a stretch to the back of our leg. Three breaths here. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. We'll change legs, so straightening the next leg. Inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, sliding the hands down the leg. Again, maybe your hand stays on the thigh or just above 
below the knee, I should say, or maybe some of you can get down to your ankle. Remember, this is not a contest to see who's most flexible. This is about connecting with our body, keeping our body healthy and mobile. And we've got two more breaths here. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. Make the legs wide here. And then exhale, walking the hands down the legs. Ragdolling, dropping the head. Hands could stay on your legs for stability or grabbing your forearms or your elbows. Allow everything to hang. A nice stretch to the low back here. Two more breaths here. Very good. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. We've got one more stretch. We're crossing our ankle over the knee, and I know that's not accessible for all of us, so it could be ankle over shin. But if you can join me with the ankle on the foot, maybe I'll take the flower off the bottom of my foot. And then exhale, folding forward, getting into the hips, if you're feeling this as a pressure to the knee, then please back off. Four breaths here. And inhale, coming back up, uncrossing the legs, and we're changing sides. Place the ankle just above the knee, flexing the foot. Inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, hinging at the hips. Again, I'm noticing, experiencing, aware that this side is tighter in my body. I'm also noticing that it feels good, that it feels somewhat like something that my body needs right now. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. We'll bring our hands to a prayer position. Sit up nice and tall and close your eyes. Relax the shoulders, the jaw and the face. Feeling the breath rise, the heart rise, the chest. And as you exhale, let the heart and chest descend. Big breath still. Noticing if the body feels any different than when we started our practice. Inviting some calmness, some peace into the body, into the mind, into your life. Inviting some sweetness in through the breath. Breath is smooth, deep. We're going to close our practice today with three breaths to the heart. Take a big inhale, filling the breath to the heart. And exhale, send that out. Inhale, fill the heart with warmth, with love. And exhale, send that out. Inhale, filling the heart with peace and compassion. And exhale, send that out. Inhale, opening the eyes. I hope you found some benefit to this class today. Namaste. If you enjoyed this practice or found some benefit, don't forget to leave some comments to let me know what worked for you.